what's up everybody welcome back to another vlog the real reason i'm titling this a cozy fall vlog is because mentally i feel like i'm already transitioning to like the holidays and christmas and i feel myself becoming buddy the elf as i do every single year i am so ready to put up my christmas tree in my room and just have it by my window but i realize it's not even halloween yet so i need to embrace and enjoy the fall spirit and the fall vibes before i really you know start singing my christmas carols but anyways i'm right outside of target and I do have a list of things that I want to buy, but I think I'm just going to let Target decide and I'm going to let Target tell me what it is that I need. I do know that I need a cozy pair of PJs because believe it or not, it is cold, okay? It is very freaking cold at nights now. I only have like shorts pajamas, but I think I really want like a little cozy, cute little PJ set. And I'm going to check Target because they have the coziest PJs. Before I left my house, I got a package and I got a new burger case. And look how cute that is. So I'm going to change the one I have on right now. And I'm going to switch it to this one. So freaking cute. I'm also wearing like a full sweatsuit set right now. You know what? It was chilly the other day. So for me, it's like it should be chilly now. But the only thing that I know to be true in this entire world is that California weather is the most inconsistent thing ever. So yeah, but it's okay because my sweatsuit's cute and I like it. And if I have to sweat, I'll sweat. Let's go to Target. One of my favorite things to do ever is online shopping because anything that I can do from the comfort of my own home, I'm gonna love. And if you're anything like me in that sense, then I really feel like you guys would love Warby Parker. Warby Parker offers eyeglasses, sunglasses, eye exams, and even contact lenses. They have an at-home try-on service where you take a quick quiz and decide what kind of glasses and lenses best fit you. And then they send you five pairs of glasses completely for free and you don't even pay for shipping. And they also send you a return label. All their glasses start at $95. And what I really love about it is that you're able to try them on at home and see if in fact you really like them before committing to buying them. I don't know if it's just me, but it can always be a little stressful in stores to have to decide if you like the glasses or if you just feel pressured to buy them because you're there. But what I love about Warby Parker is that they give you the luxury of deciding at home. You can stare at yourself all day in the mirror if you need to, to decide if you actually really like them. If you guys were thinking of getting you sunglasses or eyeglasses and you want to try out your five pairs of glasses at home for totally free. Okay, so I need your guys' help deciding which of these five pairs I should keep. This one's called Caleb and it looks like this. I feel like I look smarter, so I like it. <laughs> All the pairs that I have, I get them in size medium. This pair is called Chamberlain. This one's cute. This one's called Harris in Oak Barrel. These are pretty cool. The second pair of sunglasses is called Ryland, and it's also in size medium. These are also pretty cool. And lastly, we have this one, which is called Mullins. These are cute and comfortable, which I really like. You guys can go to warbyparker.com slash Carla XE to try Warby Parker out today and it will also be linked down below. Thank you so much to Warby Parker and let's get back to the video. You know how I said I was gonna let Target decide what I was gonna get? Well, Target definitely decided for me and it decided I'm definitely having a self-care night tonight. Honestly, I kind of blacked out. I don't even remember half the things that I got, but I know that I got cinnamon rolls to make later. I got, I don't know, It's it, I blacked out. I literally don't even remember what I got. I'll do a cute little Target haul when I get home, but I also got this drink. I've seen this everywhere. People keep saying that it's really, really good. It's called Poppy and it is a, something it's a prebiotic soda okay that doesn't sound good it's basically like healthy soda and i'm a soda fanatic like coke 
I'm not even gonna say it's a guilty pleasure because there is no guilt in me when I'm drinking it. So I wanted to try this because what if it's like super fucking good and it's good for you and I don't even know about it. It says, for a healthy gut. That does not sound, <laughs> this doesn't sound good. Should I try it right now or should I wait? I'm gonna try it right now. I don't have the patience for that. This is the flavor Raspberry Rose. Not bad. Not bad. I definitely get the healthy vibes because you don't get that like overwhelming amount of flavor. If it was like extra, extra cold, this would be bomb. I'm not gonna lie. Oh wait, one thing I have to mention this because I saw it and I was like, I need this in my life. I don't know if you guys heard, but Ashley Tisdale just came out with a new brand. It's called Freshney and it's about like self care and it's like a beauty brand. I just heard that it has a bunch of really, really good products. So I picked up a little something because anything Sharpay Evans makes, I will buy. It's the Awaken and Uplift Hair Body and Linen Mist in Citrus Amber. Oh my God. It smells like the perfect summer day. Wow, that smells so good. So I guess you can put this in your hair, body, and linen. I mean, let's start right now. Not to mention the packaging is so freaking cute. Let's do this. I'm gonna do a little Target haul, starting with two coffee-related things. As you guys saw, I brought out my coffee maker. I don't know if I'm gonna be drinking that every day, but as soon as it gets colder, I start craving hot coffee, and I can make that at home, okay? So I needed filters for that. And I'm gonna be trying this Coffee Mate Cinnamon Vanilla Creamer. Then I got these cinnamon rolls, and it says they're air fryer ready, so you already know I'm gonna be making these tonight. I really only went to Target for one thing, and this was that one thing, the black PJ set that I wear all the time. It's like shorts and a little shirt. It's from Target, and it's literally the softest PJ set ever, but now that it's getting colder, I really wanted the long sleeve one with the pants. If you guys haven't tried out the Stars Above line at Target, you need to because they have the cutest PJ sets, loungewear, it's the softest thing ever. It feels like butter on the skin. Then I got some fuzzy socks. This is where the whole like Target chooses what you want type of thing starts coming because I didn't need fuzzy socks but I saw them and they looked really cute and soft and comfortable so we got a little brightening eye mask situation. I really needed a new exfoliator so I got the Tree Hut Coco Colada one. Two makeup things. I got another one of my Milani Luminoso blush and then I got another one of these is the Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist. I've been calling it the wrong name. It's called Frenchie. And I thought it was called Fresh Knee. Frenchy is so much cuter. <laughs> This is so cute. I can't believe it took me this long to get this set. I kind of like it better than the shorts one. These air fryer cinnamon rolls honestly look amazing. I think I waited too long and the icing like I was about to take a shower and use the body scrub and everything that I got today. My mom made these really bomb tacos. So I'm gonna go eat some and then I'm gonna take my shower. <laughs> she literally makes these tacos like once a year because they take like forever to make. So I'm gonna go eat some more. Hello? <laughs>
I literally just took like the most relaxing shower ever. I've been using this hydrating uh, gentle cleanser from La Roche Posay to take off my makeup. I'm almost done with it. I've been using it for like over a month now and it is honestly the best cleanser I've ever used. It's hydrating and it's gentle. It literally leaves your skin feeling normal. Like I swear with other cleansers, my skin feels so freaking dry. I have dry skin, but after I take off my makeup, it just feels even drier. Not with this one, it's so freaking good. But what I've been doing recently is I am starting to double cleanse, which I don't know why I wasn't doing this before. Just the idea of like wearing all of this makeup throughout the day and just going in with one cleanse and expecting it to be gone with just one cleanse is insane. So I've been doing a double cleanse and I've been noticing a really big difference. I was starting to break out and I was like, why am I breaking out? Um, and that's when I started using foundation again because I was just doing concealer for like my makeup routine. But I started incorporating foundation again, which I was really liking. But then I started breaking out and I was like, you know what? I don't think I'm taking off all the makeup. Like it looks like my face is clean, but I feel like it's not. So I started double cleansing and I'm never not going to double cleanse. It's so good. I've also been using the La Roche-Posay hyaluronic serum and i really like it but i'm like a serum like junkie like i like trying out a lot of different serums this is like my fourth one that i've tried and i'm almost done with it i probably have like a couple days no probably like two days left and i don't know what other serum to get or like what other hyaluronic serum to get so if you guys know of a good one i tried the glow recipe watermelon one um that one wasn't my favorite it was pretty good it left your skin feeling really really hydrated and like really glowy but it would be gone in like 10 minutes it wasn't like it didn't look that way anymore and then i tried out the deep hydration by what's that brand oh summer fridays it was a summer fridays deep hydration serum that one i actually did really really like i wouldn't be opposed to like getting it again this one absolutely love i think this is so so good if you guys have like hyaluronic serums or like serum recommendations please let me know i'm also like a moisturizer junkie i have dry skin so finding the best moisturizer for dry skin is like my mission in life i have this one which is the ultra repair intense hydration by first aid beauty wasn't the biggest fan of this one so this one i would put it on it would look really nice 15 minutes after putting it on my skin looked just as dry this one is the la roche posay double face repair absolutely adore this one i don't know what it is about this brand i'm not even kidding guys it's so good i haven't tried out a product by this brand that I don't love. And then I've been trying out the Honey Halo Pharmacy one. Adore this one. I only wear this though when my skin feels really, really dry or right before my makeup. Like if I want my makeup to look really, really good, I go in with this first. I'm gonna do a little eye mask situation. They have like sparkly stars on them. That's so freaking cute. I started this new show called White Lotus. I started it like two days ago. I finished it last night. It is so freaking good. Especially because it only had six episodes and that was it. But I just realized that season two comes out tomorrow. Especially with like all the new shows coming out. It's so annoying to get into one of those new shows because there's only like one season or two to binge watch and that's it. That's why I stick to my like old shows like Friends, Gilmore Girls, Pretty Little Liars, Gossip Girl because all the seasons are out and you don't have to be waiting for this new season. Can't forget some Aquaphor. It's starting to get cold out and wintertime is also known as crusty season. Crusty lips, crusty elbows, crusty freaking knees. Stay moisturized guys. Okay. <laughs> 